In Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, Cal Kestis visits the planet Zepho as he retraces the steps of former Jedi Master Eno Cordova. There he runs into a group of Imperials who are excavating parts of the world as part of something they called Project Augur. Today I'll cover that project's purpose and history. Emperor Palpatine had an extensive collection of Force-based artifacts, both from the light and dark sides. He likely heard about the ancient culture of the Zepho and figured they would have some interesting treasures to uncover, and so he sent troopers to oversee the occupation and desecration of the cities, caverns, and temples there. But Zepho's electromagnetic winds rendered most of the Empire's mining technology useless, and the dangerous wildlife killed more and more stormtroopers every day. Refusing to allow his men to give up, the Emperor sent an ambitious officer named Crane to properly motivate them. The stormtroopers remained skeptical that they would recover anything of value that was worth their lives and all the effort, but Crane insisted they were on the verge of finding what they were after as they drilled into the underground ice caves. Eventually, they did discover some relic of great importance. We never learn what it was, but Crane took it for herself, hiding it away from the rest of the workers, hoping that she could deliver it to the Emperor personally. As she hit it, a cave collapsed in on her, and she died. With so many setbacks and deaths and nothing to show for it, Project Augur was scheduled to be terminated. That is, until Cal Kestis appeared on the scene, opening up new pathways into two Zepho tombs that the Empire was unable to reach on their own. With its reactivation came more stormtroopers, purge troopers, and even the Inquisitor known as the Second Sister. Project Augur is very much in line with the Empire in the way they don't care about the preservation of any planet, they only care about the results it can provide. If any planet has a resource, it's mined and harvested until it's gone with little thought of the future. Star Wars Rebels showed us the planet Lothal under Imperial occupation as it was being ravaged, and then we got to see it back under its people's control, a more ideal and beautiful version of the world. The Empire doesn't care about culture, history, or people, they only care about furthering their own might. On Zepho, they completely removed the populations of any nearby settlements, and they began doing everything they could to carve into the mountains to reach the tombs. Again, they didn't care about the tombs themselves, but only what they hoped to find inside. Augur is literally a tool meant to drill holes into the ground. But we see another aspect of the Empire in Crane. The Empire and First Order encourages competition among its ranks in the same way that the Sith do. It's never about working together, it's about proving you can be the best and that you deserve to be in charge. Crane wanted whatever relic she found to be a stepping stone to something greater, and she gave no care to the rest of her team. Her deceptions wound up leading to her death. Likewise, many people who find power in the Empire or First Order do it through brute force, and not because they are actually good leaders. Thrawn is one of the few examples of an Imperial leader that actually inspires those around him and gains the loyalty of his crew. Most Imperials rise through the ranks alone and die alone. But that's everything you can learn about Project Augur and Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and how it relates to the rest of Star Wars. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.